Hey guys, welcome back to one of my what I eat in a week videos where I show you everything that I eat in a week in a video. This one is definitely budget themed, um, but not necessarily that like everything in the video that I eat is budget friendly or cheap, but just trying to use up what I have and make the most of my leftovers, go to the grocery store as little as possible, like not buying new things, you know, and like using what I have efficiently. And so we are being creative in this video as well as a lot of my other videos. So I appreciate people to open their minds. So please enjoy. I'm gonna make some oats, 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 oats. today for breakfast. <laughs> I'm trying to get back into the oats game lately because honestly, oats are the best. I really feel like they're such a good breakfast. They're so easy and cheap. You can, you know, change it up anytime you want. Also because I actually like oats, you know, obviously if you don't like oats, then they're not a good breakfast for you. But if you have some, you know, it's no one should be forced to eat oats if you don't like oats. But also you may need to... I. I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, um, but I like oats. So if you have like a healthy thing that you actually like, it's like really good, right? And you should try really hard to make it very easy for you to have that thing, you know? But a lot of people just don't like oats and that's okay. But also some people don't like oats, but they just need to try them in different ways, you know? Like adding salt, for example. I have um, these berries that I cooked up yesterday for on top of pancakes, but I didn't finish it all. But you know, there's leftovers and it's just berries, frozen berries on the stove with like some cornstarch so they thickened up somewhat. But I'm gonna scoop some of the berries out of here. I put it in a jar because I didn't know. I was like, maybe I would make a, a drink with the berry juice, you know, like, I don't know, put some lemonade in here or something or make overnight oats, but I didn't do that. So. Um, I'm gonna scoop out the berries, put them in my oatmeal, and then I'm gonna maybe use the rest of the juice to make a berry latte maybe later. I don't know. Unless I just want to use all the berries in the oatmeal, but... Have you guys heard about noodle boards? Um, I'm gonna grab these berries. Yeah, so noodle boards. It's basically like some wood that they would fit to a stove. You put it on the stove when you're not using the stove so you can like use the stove like a counter. And yeah, people I guess would make noodles on that board. That's why they called it noodle boards. <laughs> But anyways, I wish I had one of those, kind of, because, like, there's not that much counter space here, you know? And especially, like, in front of the microwave, there's only this little bit of counter that you can't even see. Oops. You can't even see it. Um, that's how small it is. You can't even see it. So, of course, I'm always, like, using the stove as, like, a counter. But it's so bad because little crumbs and stuff, like, fall into the... They fall into the burners <laughs> all the time. Cinnamon. What was I gonna, and some milk? What was I saying? Oh yeah, where do you put it though when you're using the stove? You just have this giant piece of wood. You can't like, where do you put it? That'd be annoying. I mean, obviously you could find somewhere to put it, but it would be annoying, you know? You can't just put it on the ground. Anyways, if anyone has any insight on that, maybe it would be nice if there's a noodle board thing that would like fold. It would like fold and then I mean, I guess, I don't know. Anyways, so I had some leftover tofurkey sausage and I also had some leftover pasta sauce. And so I was gonna make a little grilled cheese meal um, using the pasta sauce instead of like dipping your grilled cheese in tomato soup or dipping it in the pasta sauce. And I also was adding some spinach and just going to microwave the sauce with my tofurkey sausage ripped up into there for the protein. And then I'm adding some pepper and garlic salt to my grilled cheese. I was just going to microwave it a little bit and then throw it in the air fryer, which is what I do when I want like a super lazy grilled cheese but my air fryer stopped working so i ended up just having to throw it in a pan anyways but yeah that's my meal i added a little bit of water to the tomato sauce to make it a little bit more soupy and dippable you know but um yeah this is a common lazy meal for me when i have tomato sauce that i don't know what to do with and vegan cheese to use up delicious and then at, for dinner i decided to make 
nachos, some sheet pan nachos, you know. I had some corn chips and I also had one leftover Trader Joe's hash brown. So I was like, why don't I throw that on the nachos for like a little potato element to add some car add some carbs that aren't just chips, you know? And then I added some canned black beans and I added just like a taco seasoning blend you know and put that in the oven for a little bit and then of course my camera wasn't filming when i put the avocado and the cashew cheese on it i was just finishing up that jar of cashew cheese from a previous video that i don't love but i do like i also put some pico on there and some i had a little bit of green onion that was already cut up in the fridge and oh i also put some lime on this too i didn't feel bad but honestly delicious uh i would love to do that again but with more hash browns there's a little bit more like potato in there and then for breakfast the next day, I had these two little leftover pancakes. I know this is not like that much of a breakfast, but sometimes I have small breakfast because I'm going to have lunch like in a couple hours. You know what I mean? Not that I need to explain. Okay, just listen to your body. You know, you don't have to have a huge breakfast if you don't feel like having a huge breakfast. Anyways, I put some peanut butter in between the pancakes and I also microwaved some frozen blueberries and I put those on top and I also put some hemp seeds in there too. Delicious. Wonderful. That actually looks so good. I really want that right now. And I'm making a coffee. I'm making a, you know, something like the brown sugar shaken espresso. I hate saying that because it's like, okay, what is this, like, no, why am I giving free clout to Starbucks? <laughs> But, you know, just a little cinnamon brown sugar coffee beverage. I'm shaking up some brown sugar syrup that I made in my previous video with some cinnamon in the coffee. And then I'm adding some ice and then I'm adding my oat milk. And I also used some Wonder Milk. I'm always using two milks, I feel like, because I have a whole milk style milk and then a not whole milk, like a 2% type of milk, you know? So I always use like a little bit of both to like balance it out. Or depending on how I'm feeling, I might put more of the whole milk, less of the whole milk whatever i really have to stop saying delicious because that's i just want to say it every time that's my go-to word i guess hmm this whole video i'm just wearing sweatshirts and that says something not necessarily something bad i'm just saying like that's the state i'm in the whole video i'm wearing sweatshirts at least they're different sweatshirts so you know i cycle through them okay they get washed uh, I had some leftover cut up onion in the fridge, throwing that in a pan with some olive oil. Cause you know, I'm really just trying to dig into the pantry to see what I got so I don't have to get more groceries. And I had some white beans. I had a can of white beans. I also had a can of diced tomatoes and I had, you know, an, quite a bit left in that tomato pesto, Sicilian pesto or whatever that I used in the last video. And so, you know, I thought to fim, little, make a little something. I, I drained the beans and then I'm just seasoning them in the little colander that I have because efficiency and I don't like doing seasonings right into the pan because the humidity gets up in the seasonings and it makes them clump so yeah seasoned beans going in there with the tomatoes and the onions and the olive oil and then I put some spinach in there and after I turned it off I mixed in the pesto oh yeah that's a lot of spinach look at me go oh some more diced tomato and some water to help it all cook down and whatnot some salt and I had some leftover couscous Couscous? Was it couscous? I don't know. One of those spherical grains from uh, a dinner that I had at my parents' house the other day. And so I decided to have that with this bean mixture. Uh, and yeah, honestly, I mean, I don't think I love white beans except for in like soup. Um, or maybe I just needed to like cook them longer. They seemed kind of grainy in there, but other than that, this was delicious. I think when I had the leftovers of it, I liked it better. But yeah, and now I'm making some tea. I'm making some green tea and I'm doing two tea bags to a cup of water because I like strong green tea and I'm mixing it with other things. I have this giant ice cube of blended pineapple <laughs> because in a previous, previous video, all my videos are connected, you know, that's the lore of this channel. Um, in a pre in a previous video, not the last video, but a previous video, okay. I blended some leftover, I, br I blended some, I blent? I blended some pineapple that was freezer burnt and then I put it in ice cubes so that it'd be more readily available to me to use and use it up, make use of it, you know? So what I wanted to do was I wanted like a little fun fruity green tea drink and I thought if I mix the hot green tea with this ice cube then the pineapple would 
quickly melt into the green tea while also cooling the green tea and I would have a pineapple green tea and then I would and then I added a bunch of ice and I added a little bit of this Costco strawberry lemonade and this was absolutely not gonna say it was yummy it was tasty it was refreshing and yeah definitely gonna do this again so the theme of the video is clearly using up leftovers. I have the rest of a bag of linguine. I have the rest of the jar of pasta sauce. And I also have my last tofurkey leftover sausage. So we're making a little sausage linguine pasta out of this. I also have some frozen broccoli. And the theme of this video is also forgetting that the camera's not filming or the camera just stopping working. I don't even know. I don't even know who to blame at this point. It's probably me. But anyways, I use some of my cut up onion that I have in the fridge and my uh, frozen broccoli. And I threw in the sausage in there with the sauce and some olive oil. And I'm just stirring it all up and together, throwing some spinach in there. I probably seasoned it a little uh, and then throwing in my pasta. And I actually saved some of the pasta liquid. It was in the plate with the pasta. Okay, you just can't really see it. <laughs> These are so unprofessional, but I mean, that's the point. It's just like, you know, some people just wouldn't get it. Anyways, I put- I also had some Trader Joe's Parmesan cheese. I put that on there. Delicious. No! <laughs> it was good. Okay, a little Walmart grocery haul. We got some garbanzo beans. We got some green onions that I always regrow until they don't grow anymore. I got some broccoli. I also got a red bell pepper. It would have been a green bell pepper, but they were all out. Um, avocados, Oreo thins, some beefsteak tomatoes, a cucumber. I also got some crunchy, cr crunchy. I also got some country crock butter. Um, it was the cheapest one. I prefer Miyoko's no palm oil, but um, expensive as hell. We got some of these oat milk chocolates because they're only $1.98 each and they're pretty good. Chocolate chips have been like crazy. What's going on? Some frozen veggies and potatoes. I got some yellow mustard. <laughs> I got some pasta, angel hair, and salantini. Salantini? Uh, calantini? No, that can't be that. Now I'm making some oatmeal for breakfast, some mini oats, and I'm using some of my frozen strawberries that were cut into really small pieces and putting them in there. I really don't like that I put them in a green bag. I always forget green and red makes ugly. And yeah, strawberries and cream oatmeal. <gasps> I used to love strawberries and cream oatmeal though, actually delicious putting some hemp seeds i always put salt in there put some peanut butter in there i put some agave syrup and some soy milk i've been kind of falling off the soy milk lately i just kind of stopped getting it because this last time that i got it i just felt like it took me a long time to use it up because i just kept preferring the oat milk the only time i prefer soy milk is in tea but that's not even all the time do you know what i mean like it's just sometimes other than that I'm sorry, soy milk. I used to be such a soy milk defender. I still love it though. So, I don't usually film all my like snacks throughout the week when I do one of these because I kind of just give up at a certain point because I'm not gonna remember every single time like I grab a carrot. And like you don't want to see like a bunch of clips of me just eating a piece of chocolate, you know, throughout the video. I feel like that'd be kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna like tell you i'm just gonna give you a rundown of like what kind of snacks i ate through the week in case anyone cares yeah so carrots i often grab just a little carrot to snack on you know whenever you want to get a taste out of your mouth or you have something stuck in your teeth i don't know i just eat a carrot and it's like solved um it's like a very neutral taste to me also like fiber you know um also i eat a lot of chocolate i tend to eat chocolate like every day probably so right now i'm eating this well i already mentioned it in this video this oat milk chocolate from walmart it's quite good it's one of the better like oat milk chocolates that i've tried recently so i tried that one and i don't have it anymore because i finished it it was called dark chocolate with oat milk i think it was the endangered species brand i didn't love it like as a chocolate it's good i would eat it again but I just feel like I'd kind of just prefer regular dark chocolate from them. It felt kind of grainy or something, like they used the oat milk powder maybe. Found these at Grocery Outlet. They're like a healthier Rice Krispie treat. Yeah, it was 
really cheap at grocery outlets, so I got them. It's pretty good, okay? I miss Rice Krispie Treats. I used to love my Rice Krispie Treats. Verb Energy Bars. Um, some of you might remember when I was sponsored by them. This is not sponsored. I just found it at grocery outlet. I don't think they had this flavor when they sponsored me, but um, these are these are still good, okay? I just don't buy them online, but when I find them at grocery outlets, I will buy them. And then also, I'm always eating trail mix. My own trail mix that I make. This one has walnuts, cashews, cacao nibs, and raisins. I just already had cacao nibs that were expired, so I wanted to use them. I honestly feel like if you have cacao nibs and you want to use them, you don't know what to do with them, but you want to use them up easily, put them in a trail mix. It's kind of good. I mean, they're still like not my favorite part of the trail mix, but I think they add like a slight chocolatiness to the mix that when paired with the sweet like raisins or whatever, much more enjoyable than eating them on their own, in my opinion, so. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Okay, so now we're making some boba at home. Some DIY boba beverages. I haven't bought boba, like make at home tapioca pearls for a while. So I definitely forgot that they take like 30 minutes to cook, um, which is kind of a lot for just making a little beverage at home for yourself. So, you know, I tried to make them in somewhat bulk or uh, meal prep, boba prep, you know? All you have to do is just boil them till they float to the top and then you simmer them for like 20, 30 minutes depending on the package and then you let them sit for like another 10 minutes or whatever. While that's cooking, I'm making some black tea. I have some loose leaf black tea and I make it in the French press so I can make it really strong. I make it basically the same way that I make my coffee, just like a strong little ratio of tea to water and then look up how long it takes to steep black tea for and at what temperature. And I use my little food thermometer and I try my best to do things right. You know, that's all we're doing in this life. That's what life is about. Anyways, so then we're pouring it out and I pour it into a big mason jar and try to let it cool down while I cook the rest of the boba. And I also put a little bit in another jar so that it would cool faster if it's like separated into two different things. While I was making the boba, my parents like to go to this uh, restaurant that's near my apartment and they always get sweet potato fries and can't finish them so they give me the rest of their sweet potato fries because they know I love sweet potato fries and I live right here. But I can't have sweet potato fries with a little bit of a creamy little sauce to dip them in. So. I'm making a sauce right now. And the mustard bottle was almost empty. So I was like, why don't I just make the sauce in the mustard bottle? But we were really running out of mayonnaise. So it ended up being a lot more mustardy than I meant for it to be, but it was still good. It was just very mustardy, but luckily I am a mustard fiend. So I did still enjoy it, but yeah, it's a great sauce. Um, dip, a little dip thing. It's just, vegan mayonnaise, mustard, pickle juice, and whatever seasonings you think sound good. So I'm just like putting garlic, garlic, onion, pepper, salt, I think. Uh, and yeah, it's delicious. But this is, it just looks like mustard. I swear it's not just mustard. But I bet this super mustardy concoction would be really good with like a pretzel. Um, and then here's the boba after they've been drained and rinsed and everything. And I'm adding some of my brown sugar syrup onto them and letting them sit in that for like 10 minutes so that they absorb the brown sugary flavor and cool down before we put them into the drinks. Today, I'm just making a black milk tea boba. So I got my black tea. I'm putting the bobas into the black tea. And then of course, the camera stops working before I put the milk in. So that was supposed to be the whole, that was like the most important shot, right? Right? That's like the most fun thing to see happen and I didn't get it. So that's really something to sit with myself about. And did I put sweetener? I probably put some of the brown sugar syrup in the drink as well. So this is like a brown sugar, black milk tea, boba. Oh, there you go. There's the syrup. And it's so good like this. If you make really strong tea and then I probably use some of my like full fat milk, the no, no, the moo, no cow. What the frick is it called? Wonder milk? Wonder milk. That's what it's called. <laughs> and then also a little bit of soy milk. And then I'm just putting all the leftover boba into this big ice cube tray and freezing them so I can just microwave them to use them in drinks. And I'd never done this before, so I didn't know if it would work, but you'll see, you'll just see, okay?
And then now I'm making some oatmeal again for breakfast. But today I'm putting some of my frozen strawberries and then I'm putting some hemp seeds, chia seeds, cinnamon, salt, agave, soy milk. So good. Now we're having those boba cubes. I'm happy to say that this works out amazing. I love this little hack method, whatever you want to call it. I literally just got the idea because the frozen boba packs have been so popular lately. There's just a lot of plastic involved and also they give you paper straws, which like, okay, I'm glad they're paper, but like I already have boba straws, so I don't need them. And here I'm making a strawberry milk milk tea. Strawberry milk tea. Basically, you just put some strawberry jam in a jar or a cup with lid with some milk in there, shake it up, and then you get strawberry milk. Then I mix that with some black tea. And I don't know why the black tea looks like that after it's in the fridge, but I mean, it tastes fine. So if anyone who knows like science and whatnot wants to tell me, I would appreciate it. So anyways, I, I was really happy to find out a way to make boba at home in bulk. You just microwave it for like a minute in a microwave safe mug and then let it cool off before you put it in your drink. Or if you don't care, just put it straight in your drink. And then I'm making some toast to go with that tomato white bean leftover stuff. And would you guess it? The camera's not working. So just imagine the beans on the side of this toast. I mean, it's not that interesting to look at. So I think we'll be okay, but it's just annoying. So on this day for breakfast, I was going to just microwave the white bean tomato leftover stuff and cook some bread on the side with some olive oil and just have that, you know, maybe even put the beans on the toast for like a beans on toast kind of situation. But then I remembered that I had some of that Violife smoked Gouda cheese that was so good. So I was like, why don't I make a little sandwich? You've heard of bean and cheese burritos? How about a bean and cheese sandwich? It was actually very delicious, of course. Um, the cheese melts pretty well. And yeah, um, well, I microwaved the bean leftovers. So then when I put them on the cheese in the sandwich, they were already hot. So it helped it melt more. You know, it was quite delicious. And then here's me making a little iced coffee with the brown sugar syrup. And I do tend to enjoy quite milky coffees a lot of the time. I feel like they end up looking even more milky on the camera than they do in real life. So I'm sure I'm being judged. But I'm okay with that, you know? I'm okay with the coffee-flavored milk, honestly, sometimes. Okay, and now I'm cutting up some random leftover onion that I have in the fridge into small pieces and adding some leftover bell pepper and also some like carrots just for extra veggies. I'm making a lazy thrown together taco soup out of leftovers because I had those canned diced tomatoes. I had leftover black beans that were on there last day, you know, starting to get stinkier. And I had the end of a bag of corn chips. So I was like, what do all those things make me think of, you know? And I thought of making a little taco soup soup. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm doing. And I also added some of the frozen hash browns just to add some more carbs to the soup, you know, and like thicken the broth up a little bit. I also ripped up some spinach and put that in there. And I already had some like DIY taco seasoning mix. So I put that in there and I also put a little bit of bouillon and of course water, you know, salt. It was pretty good. Soups are always better when you let them sit for longer, you know, but um, half the time I don't have the patience for that. I also put some lime on that. My lime was really dry though, so I ended up cutting open a lemon also and getting more juice out of that. And I had some avocado on that, the corn chips. Honestly, it's a really solid lunch. I was kind of proud of myself that I thought to make a little taco soup out of those leftovers. Very resourceful, you know? I mean, that's the whole point of my videos, I feel like. Anyways, now I'm having a little drinkity drink. Basically, I just wanted to have a little sweet carbonated beverage. It's getting hot now, so I wanted to have something a little refreshing. So I had some ginger ale zevia on top of some Costco strawberry lemonade. That Costco strawberry, Costco strawberry lemonade, it's so good, but it's very, very sweet. Tastes like candy. Um, so so I love to mix it with something like some green tea or just straight up water <laughs> and it's really good and also stretches it because, you know, money, money is money, groceries, uh, prices and expensive and saving and can't do it. All right. Another lazy meal, comforty meal we have some pasta that is cooking and then we're gonna make like a creamy cheesy sauce for it 
very simple and lazy version. I have some coconut cream ice cubes because I was out of coconut cream. So now I'm using up my frozen coconut cream leftovers. But you know, I don't know why this one was like so watery. Maybe it was actually a light coconut cream and I didn't realize light coconut milk. Oops, it still worked out though. And also camera stopped again. I don't know what's going on but you know, it's fine. Those were just seasonings and uh, cornstarch and nutritional yeast, mixing it in, some salt, whisking it in till it thickens up a little and then mixing in the noodles. Very simple. Also, I would have stretched this a little bit had I not just been hungry, but yeah, I would have added some like more milk to that or whatever. Maybe even some lemon would have been good. I could have done with it being a little saucier. And then we had the VFC, vegan fried chicken stuff, which I wish they wouldn't call it VFC or like fried chicken because that makes me think it's like KFC, like the fried chicken, it's like a finger food kind of thing. This was definitely more of like a filet. It could be really good in a sandwich. Sandwich. Really good flavor, really good breading, smelled so good. Yes. Then the Oatly chocolate ice cream bars. I found these at Grocery Outlet. They were only like $1.99. I don't know how much they are originally, but they're quite good. The chocolate breaks really easily, I feel like. Like, I feel like it just breaks, like, big chunks of it break off, like, immediately. But that's fine. I mean, I'm just gonna eat it anyways. The chocolate one is quite rich and chocolatey for sure. Very creamy. And that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for getting to the end of it. Let me know what you think of these types of videos, everything that I eat in a week types of videos. Um, and that's it. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And... And... Goodbye. Oh my god, why is this so hard? Why is this so hard? Holy m- <laughs> This is what we're gonna get.